Hey guys, Joshua Zamora here from ZamuraiBlogger.com. I uh, want to quickly put together a review video for WordPress Lifts Optimate, Optinator. Uh, this is an awesome new plugin put together by uh, my good friends John, Shane, and uh, Corey. And uh, it's really a great plugin that's going to allow you to create very professional opt in forms for your WordPress blog if you've ever. Uh, try to find an, uh, a plugin or, or some kind of software that creates these uh, cool opt-in forms for your blog to build your list then this is the plugin for you okay this is something that I put together last night really quick uh, just to show you what can be done uh, but this is this is something that I put together really quick so it can still be highly uh, customized this is just a quick something quick that I put up uh, just so you can see the high quality that that comes up and I put this together in about five minutes uh, but there's a bunch more functions and features that you can add to this uh, but as you can see this is very professional and you can put this together for your own WordPress blog uh, so I just want to quickly jump into the plugin and show you how to add a a new opt-in form to your blog all right the first thing you're gonna do I'm not gonna go too much into how to add a plugin to your uh, blog because I'm gonna assume that you guys know how to do that if you don't send me an email and I'll show you exactly how to upload a plugin uh, but once you purchase it you're gonna get access to the Kodi uh, plugins backend alright you're gonna come up here to manage your owls once you log in and here are gonna be all your active owls alright you're gonna click download now you're gonna download it you're also gonna click add new OIN you're gonna copy this number alright and then you're gonna come over here once you have the plugin activated uh, you're not going to see any of the features. The first screen you're going to see is an option to input this number. All right. So once you actually do that, you're going to have access to the plugin. All right. And everything's put together extremely uh, easy to follow. As you can see, these are all the options that you have. All right. Uh, it also has a lot of uh, stats and, and information for any of you that want to track, you know, what's working and what's not. All right. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump right into uh, creating an opt-in form. All right. Well, the first th the first thing you actually have to do is create um, is create a new email list. All right. You go to create a new email list by coming over here to the left-hand side and click on email list. All right. It's a very simple one, two, three process. The first thing you do is create an email list. All right. And I apologize if my internet is going a bit slow. I'm not sure what's going on. But all right, you create a new email list. All right, you can name it whatever you want. I I what I've been doing is naming it where the opt-in is gonna be installed so I can track it better. And then you can here you're gonna paste your code from your whatever um, autoresponder service you use and paste that into the uh, generated opt-in code. All right. Once you do that, you hit publish. All right. And once the uh, once you publish the email list, you're gonna come over here and start a new opt-in form. All right. Once the once you create the list, you're gonna come over here and create add a new opt-in form. And this is where you're going to be able to create and customize the opt-in form however you want. All right, this has been put together very easy to follow. All right, everything is over here to the right-hand side. This is where you edit the header text, uh, which means this text up here. All right, and then there's a few other things that you can enable, like secondary text, which is going to be right up here underneath the uh, uh, the header. And then you can also enable the privacy text. You can you can change this or use this uh, privacy text that's already there. You can also upload a, a product image, all right? Which is how I was able to do this. You just click, you know, upload an image, and it's going to pop up, all right? And uh, within here, you can also let me quickly show you guys. You're just going to select the file and upload it. I already have it uploaded, so I'm going to go ahead and find it. You click show, and once you once you're in your media library and you find them here, are the two options. All right, this is where you click set as product image. If you want to change the button as well, 
uh, if you didn't pick up the graphics pack, uh, I went ahead and just uploaded a, a button from uh, one of my optimized press uh, squeeze pages, and you can put set as button image. All right, so you can also change the button image they already have, and of course you can add a product image to your to your opt-in form. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Set as product image, and you're going to see it pop up over here. And then I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to put set as button image for that one. All right. And once you're done doing that, you exit out. And to, to be able to see this, uh, as you can see, you can't really see the preview anymore. The reason for that is you have to adjust the container dimensions over here. That means the container, the the what it's sitting in. So this is not as uh, height, the height needs to be increased so I can see it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put 550 and there you can see now you can see the preview. If you want to make it wider or skinnier you can adjust it here. My sidebar is 250 uh, pixels so I'm going to change it to 250 and you can see it, it adjusted automatically, uh, instantly, excuse me, instantly so you can see the preview right away. and most of you may be asking that that's not the button that I uploaded. The reason for that is you have to come over here and switch it to custom image upload. All right, so it can modify to the one that I uploaded. But as you can see, the uh, it's not high enough yet, so I'm going to go ahead and increase it to 590. All right, there you go. Now, this is, is where the privacy text that I activated is, but it's now white, so you just come down here and edit the... Uh, where is it? The privacy text. Here it is. So you just change the color to black, and there now it shows up. All right, but this is very. As you can see, I've put together this opt-in form in about five minutes. Um, and this is something that you can do for your blog as well. And they have a ton of more um, options and features that you can play around with. Uh, there are a couple things that I already brought up to John, which is the developer. Uh, for him to change and some of you may run into this issue and this is the only issue that I've really found uh, with this one of them being that once you hit publish these options these color options are not going to show up anymore all right uh, but let's let's just go ahead and hit publish and I'll show you guys what I mean all right publish And I'm talking about once you, if you want to go back in and re-edit, uh, it's a little difficult if you don't know the actual color options. All right, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna go ahead and 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 update it and add this new feature to it. Oh, also, let's go ahead and name this. Let's just put sidebar. The reason you want to name is because when you add it to your, when you create a campaign, you're gonna to want to look for the name of the of the plugin. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and update. Right, and as you can see, if you want to now go ahead and change any color, the little pop up to select the color isn't there anymore. All right, uh, so it could be a little annoying to have to. The way that I did it, I just went back, created a new opt in form, and I just opened the new window, hit create a new opt in form. And then that's, you know, when you're creating a new opt-in form, they're there. So I would just select it, copy the number, and come back here and paste it if I wanted to make any changes. So that's pretty much the only issue that I see with this plugin. Um, pretty sure they're going to add this. I already brought it up to John. And I have, I own another one of his products, and he's constantly updating these things. So I'm pretty sure he's going to add that. And another issue that I saw uh, was when I tried to add a border around it it wouldn't only one side would show up all right um well i'm still i already published this so it's not going to be able to show up unless i click update but i already brought this up to their attention as well if you want to create a nice border around your opt-in form for some reason only the left hand side shows up so it doesn't look very nice that's why i didn't add a a border around this opt-in form but I'm pretty sure they're gonna get all those bugs fixed up and hopefully they add the color option here um, but that's pretty much it as you can see this is an opt-in form that I created extremely quickly if you want to publish your opt-in form 
Uh, you're going to come over here to campaigns. All right, you're going to add a new campaign. And you're just going to name your campaign. I'm going to just go ahead and put in new campaign for using an opt in form. Go to next. Uh, if you want to use a pop up, you can enable this. All right, I haven't played with all the functions. All I did was, all I've done so far was just add an opt in form to my sidebar. But there's a ton of other options. You can use the Facebook uh, capture method. There's a ton of other features that I haven't even gone through yet. Um, oh, let me show you what those some of those features are. All right, by going back. All right, these are a few other options that you have. You can use the form. That's what I'm using. You can capture through blog comments. You can capture emails through user accounts. You can bulk import and add to different uh, campaigns and. Uh, using a custom form. I haven't played around with this so I'm not sure what that does. Uh, but let's just go ahead and continue so I can show you how to install this opt-in form. You're going to select the sidebar 3. This is how I named the sidebar your success page. This is your basically your thank you page or where you want the person to go after they opt in. And the list name is the same one that I that I named when I created a list. So go ahead and click next. And this is the code that you're going to use to, to just paste it into a text widget. All right, before you do this, you have to click Save and Update Campaign. And then once you hit that, you're going to come over here to a text widget. Just drag a text widget onto your sidebar, paste your code into the text widget, hit Save, and your, your opt-in is going to show up over here in the sidebar. All right, so that's pretty much it. If you want to go ahead and pick this plugin up, it is at a uh, at a special price on the Warrior forum. Uh, it's currently. Let me refresh this. See what price it's at now. All right, it's at twenty bucks right now, so it's extremely affordable right now. Uh, they are going to close it on Tuesday, the seventh at six p.m. So if you want to pick up this plugin and start creating opt-in forms for your WordPress blog, go ahead and jump over to the Warrior form. I'm going to put a link underneath this video so that you can go ahead and uh, go straight to this page. Uh, do not be surprised by this extremely ugly sales page. Uh, they, you know, he'll explain why in this video this sales page is so ugly. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Click on the link underneath this video if you want to go ahead and pick up this plugin. There's only four left at this price, and it, it goes up every time someone buys. So go ahead and jump over to the Warrior Forum before it closes on the 7th uh, this coming week. So thank you guys and uh, go ahead and pick up the plugin.